it's your boy Lantic City, and this time we're taking a look at Marvin Lack Han, the guy who wanted the decoy to perform a sex act with a cat. Now we're going to be taking a full look at Marvin this time, from his footage to his shockingly short chat log. But first, we're going to start off with this perverted justice page to see what happened to Marvin. Don't thick. I want to fuck the cat. Thank you. LOL. Would you for me? People do that shit all the time. No. They actually don't. Viewers of Dateline NBC's To Catch a Predator will remember Marvin. He's the individual who arrived and took off his clothes when he entered the house in order to try and have a young teenager have sex with her cat. Yeah. This is the world we live in. Anyone who has seen the episode will forever remember Chris Hansen's reaction at the whole plan of Marvin's. It was a signature moment from that series of stings. Marvin, however, somehow qualified for Florida's Youthful Offenders Act, which gives breaks to criminals who provided... Who provided? Nobody. Where'd the who come from? There's no who there. Which gives breaks to criminals provided that they have no criminal background and are young. Yes. The guy that walked in with the Cool Whip and wanted a young girl to have sex with an animal, and then he actually qualified for that garbage act. Marvin received a five-year suspended sentence, meaning that he goes to jail for five years if he does anything else wrong in the interim and will have to register as a sex offender. As for the contributor notes, yeah, that's too much. I'm not going to read that. Fuck you, Duncan Hines. If you would like to read the contributor notes from Duncan Hines, please pause here and proceed to read. Pause here to read the rest. And once again, pause here to read that. And now, we're going to take a look at Marvin's footage. Let's take a look. He's walking into the living room. <clears throat> Emily, call out. Hey, just take a seat at the table. I'll be right there. I'm getting ready. Where's my cat? <laughs> With my cat. What the fuck? Wait, just take a seat. Have a cookie. I made them. Because they'll go with the cool whip. It was kind of a little surprise. The decoy says, come on in. I'm just going to do something real quick. And I'll come out. And she comes into the room where I'm at. Well, before I can get past her and open the door, he has hot-footed it across the living room and has his hand on the door. So I open the door. He's there. He's stunned. I'm stunned. You want to explain yourself? Grab that towel right there, please. Wrap it around yourself, and please sit in that stool. What are you doing? Making a mistake. Making a mistake. You drive into somebody's driveway, walk into their house, strip naked, and walk in where you think there's a 14-year-old girl home alone. 14-year-old? What is going on in your mind? Possible thumbnail. Hopefully we get a better one. You don't know. Stupid mistakes. Stupid mistakes. Now, what do you think would have happened, Marvin, had I not been here and had there actually been a 14-year-old girl in that next room? What would have happened after you walked in there naked? I guess something probably would have happened. Something like what? Something along the sexual lines. Like you would have had sex with a 14-year-old girl? I'm not sure if I would have done that, but... Marvin, you're naked. <coughs> yeah, I wouldn't have gone all the way. I wasn't... You, were, you went all the way when you took your clothes off, just about. He's one of those guys who is very uh, short with his answers. You know, he's not quite sure where this is all going. And finally, you know, I say to him, what was your plan with the cat? <laughs> Look at Chris's face. 
<laughs> he is disgusted. You know, I say to him, what was your plan with the cat? <laughs> Look at that fucking face. I don't know. I was just being stupid with that. The cat? The whipped cream? You want the girl to have sex with a cat and use whipped cream? What? Explain that. I was just being stupid with that. I wasn't really serious about that. I can only imagine what would have been going on in this house had I not been here. Am I wrong to think that? No, you're not. So what's going to be happening if I'm not here? You're naked. There's a 14-year-old girl. You're chasing a cat around. <laughs> what the fuck? You're chasing a cat around. Damn it, Chris. You can't rehearse this kind of shit. Full whip, and you want this girl to do cat around. You've got cool whip, and you want this girl to do some sex act with the cat, and then you'll have sex with her. Is that accurate? Would it be okay if I ask for some water, please? Mm. Some water? Yes, please. These are serious investigations, but undeniably, there are moments that you know, border on the humorous. The guy asked for water, and you know, I, I thought at that point the situation was under control, so I got him some water. I saw that running around naked got you pretty uh, dried out then. Huh? <laughs> Fuck you, Chris. Stop being funny. Look at that look on his face. He thought, well, I just thought he's like this fucking guy thinks he's a jokester. Have you ever yeah, dried out then? Huh? Right here. Have you ever met any young girls no. online? First time. Yeah, this is the first time, which would never happen again. I can tell you that for now. He started to giggle. For now? What about for later? This is the first time, which would never happen again. Hey, you got it yourself a new thumbnail, Marvin. I can tell you that for now. He started to giggle, partly because he thought it was funny, and partly because he was just really, really nervous, uh, having just been caught and now being confronted. So it's funny. No, this is, I'm just thinking it to myself that this would never happen again. <laughs> this is you know, something, though. It's not right. <laughs> so you're promising me right now that you'll never... I'm promising myself. That I'm not Hook up with a 14-year-old girl online, tell her to have sex with a cat, and walk into her house naked. <coughs> not, not even under 19. <laughs> I'm just, it's, no. I'm promising that to myself, not even to you, just to, this is not good. Well, there's something else you need to know. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC. Oh. We're doing a story on adults who try to meet teens online. Yes, sir. Now, if there's anything else you'd like to say about this predicament you're now in, we'd love to hear it. Just trust me, it'll never happen again. And if there's nothing else you had to say, then you're free to walk out that door where you stripped naked and walked in. <coughs> you can keep the towel. He gets up and he, he sort of tries to hold it around him. I mean, that's a bad situation to be in. I mean, first of all, you got caught soliciting a teen online. Second of all, you're walking naked. Third of all, you're going to be on network television, and now you're heading outside, and you got to put your clothes back on real quick and get out there, and you're not sure what you're going to face, and then you get arrested. That's bad. Police, anybody else? Oh, don't. Hey, that was Marvin. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at Marvin's chat log which, like I said prior, is incredibly shockingly short. Let's take a look. There goes his little mug shot. This wannabe pedo tried to solicit Cindy loves to dance, a 14-year-old girl. April 18th, 2006. Hi. 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 Yoo-hoo. Hi, hi. Did you leave? Hi. Sorry about that. I was in the garage cutting some wood. LOL. Did you leave now? Question mark. I'm here.
here. Had to go pee. Hee hee hee. LOL. Oh. And you didn't invite me to what? Cryface. Hee hee hee. KK, so come watch. Where do you stay? Live in Fort Myers. ASL? Wait, wrong voice. ASL. Oh, I'm in Fort Lauderdale. I may be a bit old for you, though. LOL. I'll be 21 in July. What, you like 90 and wrinkled? He, he, he. My old boyfriend was 24. Oh, I'm Cindy. I'm Marvin. Picks. You got a pick? Send yours. You got to send one? I'm going to send more than one. You do the same. KK, I got an email because I don't know how to do the other, so you got to email me pics too. Wait, you got to email pics to me. See, I'm really starting to think I'm dyslexic. Like, that's when you read shit backwards, right? I'm really, it's really starting to fucking bother me. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But I'm starting to notice reading sh shit backwards a little more often than um, I ever did. Because I don't remember ever reading shit backwards before. But every now and then these days, I'm starting to catch myself reading backwards shit. And I don't know if I'm just reading too fast or my brain's reading too fast. Atlantic City might very well be dyslexic. Okay. Be right back and I'll send. You want to trade X-rated ones too? Or no? I only have one pick because mom's found my webcam and killed it with a hammer and then threw all my picks away. She didn't find this one. So send me pics. Wait. So send me pics. Synced. Like or no? Oh my god, you're so cute and like really buff. LOL. Thanks. You got any X-rated ones? Not anymore. Are you a virgin? Kinda. Explain. Well, I never did real sex yet, but I did oral like BJ. Oh. So your pussy is tight then. Probably. What have you had in it? Nothing. Can I put some in it? LOL. Maybe. Cause you're really cute. If you'd be careful cause I'd die if I got preggers. LOL. Nah. I don't want any babies. Yet. Me neither. Ever. Don't like babies. LOL. You think you can handle a dick in you, though? Man, that shit remind me of that 2 chains line, man. He's like, bet you can't do that with a dick in you. <laughs> what the fuck, man? LOL. You think you can handle a dick in you, though? They cry and spit stuff on you. Probably. I'm not the average size, though. Everyone else does. I only saw one, so don't know what average size means. You know how big it was in inches. Well, I actually didn't have my ruler with me that night. <laughs> what the fuck? He he he. What do guys, what do you guys do? Sit around and measure your dicks? He he he. Okay. Think that your finger is about three inches. What would your average... Wait, what? Okay, think that your finger is about three inches. What would you average it to be? LOL. Yes, we do. Oh my God, you crazy man. LOL. I sent you another pic. Answered the question in it. KK, be right back. <clears throat> Looks kind of big to me. Think it'll fit? Don't know. I never did it before. I think it's supposed to fit. Does it fit other girls? LOL. Some. Others say that it hurts too much. LOL. 
I'm a girl, so guess I can do anything anybody else does. LOL. You want to? Yeah. If you're not some weird guy, you look really cool. Other guy, I mean, other girls at my school did it when they were 13, and I'm 14, so I should be able to do it. Right? I guess if you want to. Right. But I gotta get to know you first, so the first time we hang out, we'll just chill. KK, you could give me head though, lol. I know how to do that for sure, and you bring condoms in case. We chill fast. He 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 he. Haha. You serious about coming? Condoms? No, no, honey. You're gonna take it raw. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Condoms? No, no, honey. You're gonna take it raw. Or, or, are you playing me? No condoms! How am I gonna keep from getting preggers? You have your period? Yeah, once already. All I have to do is pull out before I come. KK. Do you swallow? Yeah, I thought I was supposed to. If I was... If I wasn't gonna lose my spot again. If I was 100%, you wouldn't get preg. Would you let me come in you? How can you be 100%? I'm in med school. I know how to time it according to your period. Oh, cool. You're like a doctor. I will be. Then you can cause you know how to do it right. How about anal sex? You mean like in my butt? Yes. Oh my god, I'm, I'm thinking that would hurt. LOL. Only for like the first two minutes. Then it's better than regular sex. Cause there's more pleasure nerves in there. KK, I might try it. You got a cell? I got a calling card. You want to give me a call right now so I can say hi to you? Yeah, I got to find my car. Dad sends it to me so I can call him. Be right back. Okay. KK, give me your number. It is a 954. A 657-675. See, I did that shit again. 675-9442. You calling now? Not yet. When? Like in two minutes. Call now. You there? Yeah. You here? Yes, ma'am. Cool. So, like, you want the address so you can map quest it? Address? 1252 Calusa Drive, Fort Myers, 33901. Oh, it's not too bad. Two hours. I'll be there by like two. Cool. You have money? Yeah. You gonna help me out with gas? Sure. What the fuck, man? What the fuck? You ain't even got enough gas to, to do this shit. You want you want this little girl to fuck a cat. And then give you money to for gas. To watch her fuck a cat. This motherfucker right here, man. You gonna help me out with gas. That might be the most fucked up thing I've read in this chat log so far. Sure. You have any cute friends you can invite to have a threesome? I can do that. Are you crazy? I don't want nobody to know and you better not tell. Moms would kill me dead. LOL, I won't. You have a pool? No. Jacuzzi? Yeah. I'ma fuck you in there. LOL. He, he, he. And on your mom's bed? Why not my bed? That too. He, he, he. Wrong voice. He, he. I'ma fuck you in every room so no matter where you go, you will remember me. You will remember Marvin. Every room? You know how many rooms in this big ass house? 
LOL. I hope you can handle it. You have any pets? A cat! Aw, oh, boy or girl? Boy! LOL. You know what would be a huge ass turn on for me? What? Watching you fuck him? LOL, capital D, smiley face. Mm-hmm. Don't think I want to fuck the cat, thank you. LOL, would you do it for me? Would you for me? People do that shit all the time. I don't even know how to fuck you. Now I gotta learn how to fuck the little kitty? You crazy man. LOL, I'll help you. He, he, he. You do it for me? Probably not. He, he, he. How about suck his little kitty dick? We talk about it. Let's talk about it now. Call me back. I like your voice. Question mark. Can't right now. Gotta go bathroom. I'll be back in a minute. Hurry. I miss you. Back. Calling. Where did you go? Cindy? Give me a minute. Be right back. And don't like leave because I have to reboot computer. It's getting weird. Be right back. Ooh, yep, that's a five right there. Meet Marvin who walked from his favorite fantasy straight into America's favorite prime time reality show. I'm guessing is what it's supposed to say. Well, that was Marvin. Marvin, Marvin, Marvin. Aye, aye, aye. Um. Yeah. I don't even know what to say about Marvin, man. This fucking guy. I, uh... Just one second. So, what I'm left with after this, and after the footage, and after reading the chat log, and after the full look at Marvin, I'm left with wondering. Is Marvin attracted to underage girls? Or is he attracted to pets? What do you think? Both? You remember when that woman asked radio what kind of pie he wanted? Apple or cherry or whatever the kind it was? Maybe it was peach and banana? I don't know. Radio said both. I want both. I think Marvin here wanted both. Twenty one in July. And see I don't I don't know how you feel about this, but I don't like it when the decoys do that. I don't like it when they say my my old boyfriend was twenty four, get over it. Fuck off. Like I mean it doesn't make anything better, but when you've got a guy like I know it's happened before. I'm trying to remember who it was. I think it might have been Nick Bailey as well. But here's what's his name. Marvin, 22, 21. I don't know how fucking old he is. He says he's 22 up there. Then he says he's 21 in July. So he's not even 21 yet. I don't fucking know. Fuck his age. Still too old for this shit. But whatever. Say he's 22. And he says, I'm 22. And she says, well, my old boyfriend was 24, so, psh. So, that doesn't make anything better or, or anything like that. But it does, I'm guessing, put in their head, the predator's head, that, well, she's already been with a guy older than me. So, you know, that's what I'm trying to say. That's why I don't like it when, uh. They say that. And maybe that's just another way for them to hook 
the Predators in. But whatever. I'm just a rambling right now because I, I, I'm a little lost. Look at what's his name. Abilash. Um, you got any X-rated ones? Talking about pictures. Are you a virgin? You know, whether he, he was truly attracted to children, whether he had a, a, some sort of fascination with underage girls, whatever the case may be or may have been, whether he was attracted to them or not, he was still likely going to go through with what he, ch what he chatted about. And that, I think, is enough to say, yeah. He probably did have an attraction to children. I mean, he showed up naked. And there's really no backing out of it once you show up naked. You know, you're pulled up like Donald Morris and you might could use the sweat-soaked shirt as an excuse. Oh, look at me. I'm Look at, look at how I'm dressed. I wasn't going to do anything. Donald didn't use it, but he could have. This guy... And John Kennelly, they show up naked. So there's really no excuses for them to say because we are already fucking naked coming to meet who you thought was a 14-year-old girl. So, clearly, you're not afraid to take it a bit farther than that. Yeah. That is Marvin. He wanted the decoy to have performed a sex act with a cat. What do you think about Marvin? I think he's a very fucked up individual. I think that he is probably the guy you don't want around your cat or your kid. Now, I don't know about Marvin's future. Maybe he reoffended. Maybe he didn't. If you have any sort of information like that, please let me and anyone else who has the misfortune of viewing this video, please let them know. As we all appreciate the knowledge. But, to my current knowledge, I don't think he, he reoffended and got caught again doing anything. So doesn't really change much but you know it's a there's always a chance for these guys to reoffend so if it hasn't happened yet it could happen but now I feel like I'm just wasting your time trying to scoop up some shit to say when I really have not much to say at all Yeah, that's that's Marvin, man. I think I think he's fucked. He's fucked. Whether he reoffends or not, he's probably let's just say I wouldn't want to switch brains with this bastard. There's probably some shit going on in his mind that I couldn't I couldn't take fucking twenty seconds of it, like like Charlie Sheen said back in the day. He's like, oh, I got this brain or whatever. And he's like, oh, unplug this bastard. You put that thing in your head for two minutes and you want to unplug it or some shit, he said. I don't, I don't know. It's been years since I watched that shit. But it applies. I wouldn't want that bastard's brain. Well, I wouldn't want Charlie Sheen's brain or Marvin's brain. But it is what it is probably a lot of fucked up shit rumbling around in there in Marvin's brain, Marvin's head, Marvin's conscious. He's uh definitely a sick individual. But here I am just rambling again. So I I guess I'm going to go ahead and get the fuck out of here. I hope you don't feel cheated that I cheated you out of you know, watch it all the way up to end, and I'm supposed to say something, some big great grand shit, and then I'm just left kind of speechless at the end. I hope you don't hold this against me. 
but I, I really don't know what to say that I haven't already said. So why don't you type something and let me read what you have to type. What do you think about Marvin? Let me know. And I, Atlantic City, will catch you next time.